Hi guys, welcome back to another video this week at Loving Off The Land. Um, today we're gonna to be going through how to kind of preserve some of your crops over the winter. Um, after kind of doing this for a couple years now and uh, learning more and more, we are definitely doing our best to work smarter and not harder. Um, and a lot of that means kind of preserving the hard work that we've put in to growing our crops. Um, so we use this technique with a couple of different things, but the one we're gonna show you today is celery. Uh, and what we're gonna do is show you how we kind of preserve some of our celery um, in the ground as well as in the greenhouse um, over the winter. So one thing to keep in mind, it's still not gonna grow a lot over the winter in the greenhouse. You may get a little bit off of there, but the real big purpose of that is that next year in the spring, um, you are gonna replant your celery roots and the kind of the clump we're gonna leave at the bottom um, outside again, and it's just gonna give you a huge jump. Things like celery take quite a while to grow. They weren't ready until kind of the beginning of September and still you know, could have had more growing to do. Um, so next year, we're gonna replant these out. We should be eating celery again by April, let's say, um, and then our celery that we'll plant will be ready in the fall. So it just kind of keeps that cycle going and saves some of this hard work that you've put into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is just take one of our celery here. They're kind of planted in clumps. And all we're going to do for the first one here um, is cut these off. And then we're gonna leave this in the ground and the celery will actually continue to grow out um, from the little bit we're gonna leave at the bottom, which we'll show you. And then the other technique is that we're gonna dig one up, plant it in one of our pots here, uh, move it to the greenhouse. And we'll also show you one of the ones we did that with a week ago, just so you can kind of see the progress um, and what happens when you do that. So for the first step here, let's get into uh, cutting this one off. So what we're gonna do, we're making soup today. So we're just gonna cut all this celery off just right around the base there and take that off. So that's a pretty good uh, harvest of celery for us there. We're making soup today, like I said, so uh, we'll be including the celery in uh, the soup and then also using the leaves to kind of flavor our stock. Celery leaves make a really good soup stock for flavoring as well. Um, and if we have extra we don't use, that will go in to feed our chicken. So we really kind of utilize um, everything as well. As you can see, we kind of have this uh, stump here. We've left the bottom. The roots are all intact and the celery will actually start growing up from there again pretty quickly. Um, we are into October now, so we're not gonna get a lot of growth, um, but what we'll do in the winter is we will cover these with straw, which will help protect them. It does depend how cold our winter is. Definitely not guaranteed to survive. We're in a pretty moderate climate here on the west coast of Canada, uh, southern BC. So we're in a, a zone 9A Canadian, which is a US zone 8 equivalent. Um, so we have had our celery and things like that actually survive the winter. So um, we'll kind of cover those with straw, maybe some mulch, um, just so they don't freeze. And if that works and we have a mild winter, then they'll grow next year. But as another kind of safety method, we are going to dig this one up, um, plant that in the pot, cut it off as well and then move it into our greenhouse. So um, we'll get started with digging this one up. So you really wanna kind of leave as much of the roots intact as you can. The more you get, the better. Try and get it in all around all sides there and break it off a bit. And now we'll just very gently Pull this out. Okay, so we got our second kind of stalk of celery there. We're gonna do the same thing um, and just cut the tops off of them and leave this kind of root cluster um, intact there. So you don't need to leave a lot as long as you're kind of leaving a little bit of base for them to grow out of and again, Nice little harvest of, uh, of celery. We got lots of that this year, which is nice. So now we've got our pot. We are just going to plant this back in here again. Try and get a nice kind of hole to get it into. And we'll get a little bit more soil in there and um, give that a really good water. Um, and then we're going to put that into our greenhouse. Now here is one that we did just last week. So it hasn't been that long. Uh, it's only been replanted in this pot for the last week. And you can already see how the new celery is starting to shoot out of there and grow. Um, and celery starts really, really slow. Uh, if you've ever grown celery in the spring, um, 
from seed, you know just what a slow start it is and how long it takes to get going and get established. So the fact that we are this far ahead already, um, and by next year this will be fairly established, it'll grow for a little bit longer in the greenhouse, um, but just to be that ahead of the game and having lettuce in the spring, just so much smarter than starting from scratch again every single year. Again, we don't need our full crop at that point. We make all of our soups and stuff in the fall, um, but just to have some back into our diet early on the spring makes a huge, huge difference. So. We hope that helps. We hope you found that useful and uh, kind of use this trick to keep your hard work going that you've put into your garden all year long before the winter here. And if you have any questions or comments or let us know if you have other ideas of things you do to kind of preserve your crops um, to keep them going into the following year as well as we're still learning too and uh, are always looking for new ideas to improve and work smarter and not harder. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe below and we'll see you guys next week.